Hey, Jenny. Is it true? Yeah, it's true. Well, don't sound so excited about it. I'm excited. I know, Candace. I'm sorry. Of course, I'm excited to be living with you again. But I'm definitely not excited to be living with Reynold again. But mom is so excited too. I know, sis. But you know how Reynold and I get along. Or don't, rather. I know, but I really think he may be excited too. Yeah, excited to torture me. No, he won't torture you, come on. He really has changed since he quit taking the pain pills. And it wasn't his fault anyway. He had such a bad back. You didn't see the worst of it, Jenny. I think you've been living in that house too long, Candace. You need to get out and experience some things. Well, I will. I graduate next year. I know, I'm sorry. It's just, I hope it works out better for you than it did for me. Hey, come on, Jenny, it'll be okay. You'll get back on your feet in no time. Well, I definitely hope so. Because I can't handle Reynold if he picks on me. God, I feel so lame. I'm 22, and I'm afraid of a guy picking on me. A grown man, no less. He's not going to pick on you, I'm telling you. You said that he's actually happy that I'm coming back? Yeah, actually, I think he wants to apologize or something. Oh, no. What? What's wrong with apologizing? Isn't that what you want? No, I'd actually rather he just not talk to me at all. He'd just be apologizing for himself. He just made it about him. Well, you should at least give him a chance. He's giving you a chance, you know. Ugh, I know. I guess I should at least try to get along with my stepdad, right? I mean, they are doing me a huge favor. That's right. Let bygones be bygones, right? Forgive and forget. It would be a lot easier on mom, you know. Yeah, yeah. I guess you're right. I just... He never picked on you back then. I just never understood that. Well, you were never really very receptive to having a stepdad. Yeah, I know. But how is that an excuse to call me fat? Well, you're not fat anymore, so don't worry about it. Yeah, uh, that's not the point, okay? Okay, sorry. Anyway, whatever. I'm just going to have a positive, grateful, thankful attitude, right? Right, for mom. Right, for mom. Hello, honey, how are you? Are you all packed? Oh, I just can't wait for this. It's going to be so exciting, isn't it? Um, yes, Mom. I am very, very excited. Now, I know it's not your proudest moment. Moving back in with your parents and all. Back in with my mother. Not my parents, my mother. And stepfather, okay? Not parents, but really, dear, it could be a wonderful thing for all of us. We could finally get a chance to start over. And why do you think we have a need to start over, Mom? Oh, you know what I mean. Because of your relationship with Reynold. He really has changed, you know? Yeah, that's what I keep hearing, but I don't know. Well, of course you don't know. How could you know if you haven't spent any time with the man? Yeah, I guess that's true. I don't know. Maybe I have PTSD or something. PTSD? Really? From Reynold? What, is that so shocking if it were true? Well, I mean, I'm sorry, honey, but doesn't that kind of, I don't know, disrespect war veterans and stuff? You can have PTSD from all sorts of stuff, Mom. Yes, I'm sure a few snide remarks from Reynold was just like the charge of the Light Brigade. Mom, you see? This is what I was talking about. This is what I was getting at the entire time. What? The entire time? You not believing me when I said how upset Reynold got me. I know, and I'm sorry. I know how tough it was for you, but he really has changed since he quit the pills. So, what is it with those pills, anyway? What do you mean? I mean, why do you think he got hooked on them? Well, it was his doctor's fault. He prescribed them in the first place, just for some little old back pain. Then when Ray kept asking for more, well, he just kept prescribing him more. Uh-huh. But you can see how it changed his personality after a while. He had always been such a sweet man. Oh, yeah, Mom. Reynold was always a big sweetheart. Well, he was always such a romantic. Remember our wedding when he learned to tango just for our first dance? A curious choice. Well, I love it, and I know it's always been hard going between you two, but I truly do think those times are behind us. I don't know. Maybe. Now come on, Jenny, you're the only one holding out here. What do you mean? I mean, you're the only one who's not excited about you coming home. Well, maybe it has more to do with the colossal sense of failure that I feel, Mom. I don't know. Honey, don't feel bad. It's hard out there right now. You should just feel lucky that you have a happy home to come home to. Oh, I do, believe me. And let's face it, your sister needs you. She's so... odd. She never has any friends over at the house, you know? Well, I think kids are different these days. Most of their time is spent on computers. Well, it's unhealthy. I don't like it. 
I don't approve of it, and I hope you'll try to influence her for the good. What does that mean? It means take it easy on your phone usage while you're here as well. Um, okay, Mom. I didn't know that we were going to be reverting back to me being a teenager. We aren't. I just don't want your sister to... To what? End up like me or something? Well, no. That's not what I was going to say. It's okay, Mom. I don't blame you. I wouldn't want either one of us moving back in with you. It's not like that. Like I said, I love having you here. I just want my children to be happy and healthy. And successful. Okay, Mom. Well, thanks for letting me stay a while. I guess I'll see you in a little bit. Wonderful. And Candace will help you with the bags. Reynold can't. His back is hurting today. Right. Of course. Hey, Jenny. What's up, girl? Are you settling in okay? Yeah. Thanks, Reynold. I'm doing okay, actually. Come on. Call me Ray, please. I'm Ray now. No more Reynold? Nah, Reynold was so serious, you know. Now I'm just... mellow. Just easy breezy, you know? Well, I must say, you seem like it. I was skeptical, but you really have gotten yourself together there, Ray. Well, I owe it all to your mom and sister. Oh? My sister? Heck yeah. She's the one who filmed me on her camera when I was at my worst and made me look at it later. Wow. She never showed that to you? No, no. She didn't. Well, that's surprising. I think you would have loved that, considering you hate my rotten guts and all. Oh, come on, Ray. I do not hate your rotten guts. What are you talking about? No, no, it's okay. You can admit it. I was really awful to you for a long time. It's no wonder you've been pretty standoffish towards me since you moved back. Well, what can I say? I guess I felt the need to protect myself. Protect yourself? From what? From me? Well, I hope you know that I would never hurt you or anything, right, Jenny? What do you mean by hurt? Come on now, don't sass me. You know what I mean? That I never hit you or anything like that. I've never done anything like that to a woman. No, I know. I believe you. So what's the problem then? What's the hang-up? Well, Ray, I guess in the spirit of honesty, I can tell you. All right now, out with it. Oh my god, shut up! I'm trying to tell you. Oh, um, all right, sorry. Well, as I was saying, so, when I was a teenager and an early teen, mostly, I had a little bit of a weight issue. Yeah? And you were... well, basically, you bullied me about it. I bullied you? And how's that? You teased me, like, all the time. Fat shamed me. Fat shamed you? <laughs> I can't believe somebody actually said that to me in real life. That's hilarious. What? Are you joking? No, no. I'm sorry. You're right. I did bully you, and I bullied you about your, uh, obesity as well. Obesity? Who said anything about obesity? I wasn't obese. Well, isn't that what it means when somebody is fat? No, Reynold. Ugh, let me explain. Ray. Right. Ray. And you don't need to explain. I know all about it from watching the 600 Pound Sisters. Oh, that's been a real educational source for you? Oh, yeah? Have you seen that stuff? Wild! Uh, well, I'm happy that you've now seen the error of your ways. Hey, I have. Trust me. I know that girls at that age are vulnerable, and that was jackass stuff for me to say. Oh, okay. So you do know? Sure, of course. And I learned I never said anything to your sister, even when she was at her heaviest. Oh my god. Well, I mean, as you see, we keep much healthier food in the kitchen now. I'll talk to you later, Reynold. I mean, Ray, whatever. Hey, you want me to leave some of my green tea protein smoothie in the blender for you? Thanks. No. Hey, sis, what's up? Uh, I don't know. I just had a really weird conversation with Reynold. Or Ray, or whatever. Okay, well what happened? It was just really weird. It started out okay, but then it got really weird. We started talking about my weight. Your weight? Why were you talking about your weight? Well, we were just kind of talking about how we used to not get along and stuff, and I brought up the whole weight thing. You know how he used to make fun of me and stuff? And what did he say? Well, he, uh, he kind of still made fun of me in a way. How so? Well, he brought up the 600 pound sisters. Which one? Oh my god, I have no idea, Candace. I don't watch that crap. Why? Is it triggering for you? No, it's just dehumanizing. Well, I don't really watch it either. I just overhear when Ray is watching it. 
So what's his obsession with overweight people anyway? I don't know, do you think he has one? I don't know. His comments about me over the years about other stuff. His taste in shows and comedy. In comedy? What do you mean? Yeah, you know, like the Nutty Professor movies and stuff. Remember when he used to play that crap all the time? Well, I guess that's true. I don't know. I know it's a stretch, but I feel like I see a pattern. Well, maybe you're onto something, who knows? Maybe he should go to therapy and figure it out. But you know what? I really don't think he's the therapy type. Um, no. What about you? What about me? Well, have you been to therapy lately? Shut up. Have you been to therapy lately? I've never been to therapy. I don't need it. Haha. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why are you being so negative? Oh my god. Ugh, sorry. It's just... I don't know. After the whole conversation with him... I, uh... You what? Well, do you promise not to make fun of me? Sis, have I ever made fun of you? Well, no. I mean, not seriously. Just sisterly stuff, I picked on you way more. Exactly, so what's the big deal? It's best to get it out, right? Well, okay, fine. After that whole thing with Reynold, I got, um, kind of hungry. Hungry? After the meal we had? I went and bought a giant freaking bag of peanut M&M's, Candace. And a hot dog, a pretzel, and chocolate Twinkies. Oh no. And a slushy, and a bag of green onion chips. And Ben and Jerry's. Oh my god, Jenny, what flavor? The Jimmy Fallon one. I felt bad for you up until that. I don't know what's happening to me, Candace. I haven't eaten like that in years. I... I don't know what came over me. How did you even keep all of that down? I didn't. Say no more. Well, I have to get a handle on this before it gets any worse. You can't let Ray's stupid comments send you back into your old cycles, Jenny. I know, I just... I promise it won't happen again. I promise you, and I promise myself. And next time you want to binge a pint of Ben and Jerry's, just call me, okay? I'll be your sponsor. Sponsors don't eat the ice cream, Candace. Jenny, what is going on with you and Ray? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Well, why not? You have to talk about it. I've had just about enough of this. I just can't handle all of this passive-aggressive behavior in my house. What passive-aggressive behavior? Like leaving your makeup all over the mirror, hair in the drain. You know how much he hates that. Well, what about him making all those comments about people going to the Golden Corral? Look, I don't know. He's just joking around, you know. He has that zany sense of humor, after all. Zany? That's how you describe it? Look, his family was the same way. It was like doggy dog in that house. And why should I care about that? I'm just saying, they all teased each other mercilessly. His stories are so sad, but he just plays them all off like they're hilarious. So what are you saying? That he's, like, deeply wounded or something, and I should feel sorry for him? No, no, I'm just saying context matters, doesn't it? Context to what? To him making fun of my weight? He's not making fun of your weight, Jenny. When I got up to get a second helping the other day, he totally said porker when he coughed. Porker? Yep, he called me a porker. Oh, shut up, he did not. You're imagining things. Oh yeah, do you think so? We'll ask Candace then. Oh, so now you have Candace teaming up against him too? Nobody is teaming up on anybody. I really do wish you would put all of this petty nonsense behind you. I know Reynold has. Mom, you haven't noticed all of the 600 pound life marathons lately? Well, he likes that show for some reason, I don't know. Everyone has their guilty pleasures. Yeah, and at top volume, when he knows that I'm home. Honey, um, that reminds me. I've been meaning to ask you. Have you been putting on weight? What? Are you seriously asking me that right now? Well, I'm just concerned about you as the thing. I know you better than you think I do. Yeah, well, then you should know how much it hurts me when you say things like that. I don't say things like that. Well, number one, you just did say something like that. And number two... Ugh. Uh, what? What is it? Well, I don't know. Some of the things that you say too. It's almost like Reynold has rubbed off on you over the years. He has not. I've always been nice to you and your sister. Mom, I have to go. Well, please, don't touch the key lime pie in the fridge. It's for my bridge club. Ugh. Ugh. 
Uh, hey sis, what's going on? Hey, um, fine. I just woke up. Why? Do you need something? Well, um, I don't need anything, but mom might. What does she need this time? A key lime pie! Well, what's wrong with that? But she already has one. I literally just saw it in the fridge last night. Oh yeah, I bet you saw it. I bet you saw it go right into your mouth. What the hell? Why would you say that? Because I'm concerned about you, Jenny. I mean, who eats a whole key lime pie? Someone ate the pie? Ugh. Yes, Jenny, someone ate the pie, and you don't know anything about that, right? No, I don't. I don't even like key lime pie. But it doesn't matter when you have an addiction, Jen. It doesn't matter what it is, remember? I didn't eat the pie! Okay, I'm sorry, Jenny. I know I'm coming off as judgmental, and I really want to apologize for that. No, it's not okay. You just accused me of eating an entire freaking pie. Well, I'm just concerned about you. I mean, I did find that stash of coffee cakes and Pringles in your closet. And I still don't know why you were looking through my closet. Because I was just looking for jeans, okay? Well, you either believe me or you don't, Candace. Otherwise, I can't help you. But the thing is, Jenny, you've lied to me about this before. But I'm not lying to you this time. I'm sorry. I love you, Jenny, and that's why I'm scared. Oh my god, this is totally ridiculous. Well, either way, Mom is super pissed and doesn't want to talk to anyone. Oh, so that means she's just about to text me then. Jenny, I... I'm concerned. I'm angry. I'm frustrated. I'm upset. Mom, I didn't do it, I swear. No more lies, Jenny. We all know you have a problem. We all can see it clear as day. And it has nothing to do with any comments I say, or Ray says, or anything else. Mom, I don't know how to prove to you that I didn't eat this stupid pie. We could test my... Well, you know what? If it'll make you happy. That would make nobody happy, Jenny. The only thing that would is if you could get yourself into some type of program. Look, I may have slipped a little bit, but I'm already back on the wagon. I haven't had sugar in four days. And I ran five miles yesterday. All wasted by that pie. For the love of God, Mom. Honey, I'm sorry, but Ray and I have been talking, and we have no choice. No choice in what? I'm afraid we're going to have to ask you to leave. Leave? You mean live someplace else? You guys are kicking me out? Yes. I'm sorry, but we can't just stand by and watch you eat yourself to death. It hurts us too much. Has the whole world gone insane? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Well, we expect you out by the end of the week. I'm sorry, but this is the way it has to be. It's for your own good, believe me. But where am I supposed to go? I'm sorry, honey. But mom! Hey, sis. Oh. Hey, Candace. So you're over at your friend Tina's house for a while? Yeah, just until I get stuff figured out. It's not bad. There's a gym in the apartment complex, so... How is the whole weight thing going? It's fine, Candace. What do you want, exactly? I just had those few incidents, okay? Actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Okay, I don't really want to talk about any of this again, Candace. I'm still upset with you, okay? No, you, you don't understand. I believe you now about the pie, and I'm really sorry that I didn't before. Oh, you do. And why is that? What changed? Well, it's Reynold, actually. Oh, you don't mean Ray? No, actually, I mean Reynold. He's back to his evil self. I didn't realize he was never not his evil self. Well, this time, I mean, we think he's back on the Vicodin. What? Really? Yeah, well, he's just been sitting around on the couch eating a lot of junk food and, like, zoning out lately. He's, um, put on some weight. Oh, really? And that's definitely something he used to do, remember? But he wasn't so heavy back then, was he? He was younger, I guess. It looks worse on him now. I never really made the connection. So you think he ate this stupid key lime pie in some kind of a drug binge? Well, yeah, I blamed you instead. And I blamed you first. Let's just forget about that, okay? Mom, just got into your head, is all. It's happened to me, too. Well, it's not fair, then. You have to leave. It wouldn't have been fair anyway. But don't you think you should be allowed to come back? Honestly, sis, and this has nothing to do with you, but I don't want to go back. Not if I'm going to be treated like that. Yeah, I get it. I mean, getting it from Reynold is one thing. But when your own mom doesn't support you, and then your sister, too? I'm so sorry, sis. It's tough, but like I said, I just want to move on. 
I guess this has all just given me a reason to never let myself get to that point again. Of getting fat again? Uh, no, Candace. Of having to move back home. Uh, hey, Jenny, how you doing? Oh, um, Reynold, how's it going? Well, actually, I'm back being Ray again. Uh, sure. Right. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't believe me either. And hell, maybe I don't. Who knows what the future holds, right? Um, yeah, I guess so. I just, um, uh, I wanted to let you know that I'm sorry. Oh, I was just part of the 12 steps or something? Making amends? Well, that is one of the steps, but I'm not even talking about that. This is just something beyond that. Okay, well, I suppose I'm listening. I guess I learned in therapy and rehab and all that about cycles of abuse. Do you know about that stuff? Um, a little bit, yeah. Well, there is something you don't know about me, about my past. Okay, what is it? Before I met your mom, and actually for most of my life up until then, I was heavy. Oh, you were? Yeah, and not just heavy, I mean obese. So you really do know the meaning of the word, huh? Yeah, you're darn right I do. So I teased you because, well, I guess because I was stoned and hated myself. It's pretty damn terrible when you say it out loud like that. Yeah. It really is. Anyway, uh, there's nothing I can really do now to make up for what I did to you except tell you that I'm sorry and that I know what it did to you and it's gonna eat me up forever. Well, better it eat you than you eat it. Okay, now that one actually made me laugh. I had no idea about any of this with you, Ray. Yeah, well, I kept it all inside for a really long time, obviously, and I tried a lot of stuff to run away from it. I wish you'd been more open about it sooner but I guess you couldn't be. I really hope I haven't traumatized you for, like, your whole life. I can't say that you telling me all of this will go a long way in healing it, but I hope it does. That's my hope too, Jenny. I'd love to start over with you like I have with your mom and Candace. So what do you say? Maybe, uh, give me a chance? Well, Ray, maybe on a tentative basis. But I'm going to think about it, okay? Oh, um, yeah, of course. I get it, I get it. Well, um... Take all the time that you need, or don't you know? Okay, well, I really do appreciate you, um, making the effort, Ray. Well, uh, you too there, Jenny. And hey, maybe we get, like, a diet root beer float or something on me? Yeah, maybe. Gradually, Jenny and Ray cultivated a deep connection. Despite occasional challenges, they worked through their issues during leisurely strolls along the local trails. Their improved relationship brings relief to Jenny's mom and Candace, who now regret not believing Jenny. After sincere apologies, Jenny forgives them, further strengthening their bond. Ray, committed to sobriety, celebrates a year of success in his classes. The joy shared by all during the occasional indulgence in a slice of pie now comes with a newfound sense of moderation. <laughs>